Um, let's see. Talicia again, she wants to know, we're going back to this Tupac Biggie thing, um, how and why did the Biggie Pac rivalry become so complicated when they were both tops of their respective coasts and known to be close friends at one time? It came, became massive because of, that's what I was saying earlier, because it served other people. The conflict served others, not them. And so it's always the people on the sidelines that escalate stuff or the friend that's not really the friend mm -hmm. or you got to look at who benefits from a crisis or a conflict and then you have your answer are you going to answer it or are you going to let us think and ponder are you going to tell us who was behind it well Come there's, on, there's so many factors that i right. can't tell you but I, sure. I can tell you that those that we point the finger at her are not the ones and it didn't serve them mm -hmm. so did you work to put them back together did you I didn't get a chance mm -hmm. it it was one thing happened that's another thing you got to know you've got those voices inside that tell you when not to do stuff um, there's also lines once you cross you can't go back right I love Tupac so I could tell you the truth he made a lot of bad choices so did I. We blew it. Um, can we tell you that we screwed up and we didn't always do the best thing? So, um, so he, he made some choices. He crossed some lines you can't go back from. Mm -hmm. We can't put him on a pedestal. We have to know Tupac is a human being. He was a man and, and he was a brilliant man with flaws and, and so by putting him on a pedestal, we don't learn the lesson. Take him off the pedestal, let him sit next to you, learn the lesson so we don't repeat it. 